Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I have another Funko Pop video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys um, some of the recent Funko Pops that I've bought. Um, I was able to get a cool deal on like one or two of them and uh, the others were uh, normal price, uh, about 10 to 12 bucks actually. I'm going to be showing you, as the thumbnail has already shown you, Lando Calrissian. I'll be showing you Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars uh, The Clone Wars and Rebels. And I will also be showing you Emperor Palpatine. And this one's a really cool one. One of these is a Hot Topic exclusive. I'll show you that one first. But anyway, let me just jump on ahead and show you guys what I have coming for you. So today I'm going to be sitting here in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon with you. I'm going to be uh, showing you some of the Star Wars Funko Pops. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the very first one. I won't waste too much time with this one, but um, I actually have a few of the other Funko Pops in this series, but not all of them. So for this one, I'm just going to show you as kind of an amalgam of some of the Star Wars Pops I've gotten recently. Um, even though they're not all in the same series, uh, they all are, they're all of Star Wars. So I wanted to show you guys those. Here we go. So first up, we have Ahsoka Tano. And this is a really cool one because this one is reminiscent of when she was first introduced to us in Star Wars The Clone Wars um, as kind of skips. She was the uh, introduced as the Padawan to Anakin Skywalker and uh, provided one of the, the better story arcs for the entire series ongoing, which has plenty of those. So I'll show you guys first the box. Um, this is really cool. Uh, I like the art. I like that they show her in the outfit that she was wearing in the first season of the Clone Wars. Um, you know, like where it's got that kind of like, it looks like a halter top where it just kind of bands around her chest. And then uh, the like skirt with the leggings and the boots. Really cool. She was very young in this one. You can see Yoda, Obi-Wan, Anakin. They're all on there in their outfits from the Clone Wars. Um, it's a really, really cool Funko Pop. This one is the Hot Topic exclusive. And the difference here is that she has her hand up like she's using the force and she's only got one lightsaber behind her back. Now, it looks like the packaging for this one caused a little bit, I don't know if it's warping or if it's just the way that they come. It looks like from the image that I will show you in a minute um, that it is in fact probably warping on my Funko Pop, but I got it for a really good price. So this one, um, I guess there was an overstock. They weren't selling that many of these um, at the local Hot Topic. And uh, because of that, I was able to get a really, really good deal on them. Um, I was able to buy a lot of Funko Pops for not a lot of dough. So I'll show you guys, I just took her outside of the box. So this is her inside of the plastic wrapping. You can see that my green screen is kind of peering behind a little bit. That's why it's kind of um, phasing in and out like that. But this is the Funko Pop. Now I wanted to show you guys, let me take this part off. She comes on a base stand, which is really cool. I really like that. And uh, let me see if I can go ahead and get her out safely without doing any kind of bending or damage to the Funko Pop. This is cool. I like that they have her on the stand. One foot is planted on the stand, not two, as if she's gonna take a step. So this is really cool. Um, there's a little bit of coloring on the top that seems to be uh, either reflecting or being taken out. You can see, sorry about that. Um, but I'll go ahead and pull up an, a secondary image so you can see that. But I wanted to pull this one out because I wanna show you the lightsaber. It was a little bit bent. You see that? And I think it's because of the way the packaging pushes it. But that's, uh, that's what we get here. Not sure if all of them were like that. I didn't notice that when I was buying them. Usually when I buy a Funko Pop, I look at it, I examine it to see if maybe it's being pushed in a weird way, if it was boxed incorrectly. I usually look for those things, but this one was really, really cheap. So um, yeah, I think for the money, really, really good. I really like this character. Let me go ahead and pull up the image for you guys here. So you guys can see that the lightsaber in the image is supposed to be straight. Mine is completely bent. Um, and my green screen's kind of taking away the image a little bit, so you'll probably have a better time looking at this PNG image right here on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put Ahsoka kind of back in the box. That way 
it doesn't continue to get like dust or messed up a little bit and I'll go ahead and repackage that in a bit not waste too much of your time so anyway that's Ahsoka Tano. I really like that one. I really like the character. I've always liked the stories that they've told with Ahsoka Tano. Um, the Funko Pop is really cool. It's not my first Ahsoka Pop. In fact, I have a glow-in-the-dark Ahsoka uh, Funko Pop from Rebels, from Star Wars Rebels. Sorry if it's a little bit of a spoiler for you guys that she's in Rebels. I don't really care. It's, <laughs> you've wasted too much time not watching the show. Go check it out. It's great. It's awesome. And I think that we will be able to probably see some more stories, hopefully even maybe even live action stories told with Ahsoka Tano um, on like the Disney Plus streaming service. So anyway, that's the first one. The second one here is Lando Calrissian. And this one's really cool because it's the Empire Strikes Back um, version of Lando. And I really like this one. He's got the blue cloak on. Um, I really like some of the other Funko Pops in the series. I'll show you in just one second. Here's the side of the box. The color is a little bit desaturated right now because of the way I had to balance my green screen. I'm sorry about that. But uh, here as well, you can see on the back, we have Han Solo. We've got Princess Leia. We've got Darth Vader. I don't know if you can see that but he's being electrocuted as if by the Emperor. Then in the same series, we have Emperor Palpatine shooting blue lightning. And then we have Wicket, who is an Ewok. And then again, the Lando Calrissian figure that I'm holding now. So uh, this is a really, really cool Funko Pop figure. Um, I don't really want to uh, take this one out of the box. I'm gonna be a little bit selfish and uh, go ahead and just show you guys the image here for this one. So not a lot more to show here. The back of the cape is just a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit wavy. Not not a whole lot to show from behind, but you can get the gist of it from this PNG. Not going to show you too many angles there. Um, I I just don't think you're going to get a whole lot more from me unboxing this one than you would from this image here. However, um, I will say that uh, I do like the way that this one also comes on a stand and I think most of the ones from this series come with a stand not all Funko Pops have that um, but the, the, these series seem to have that so I'm really impressed by that I like that because it means you can put them on your desk um, and not have to worry so much about wobble or bumping your desk and having them all knock over I have to worry a little bit with um, the original unboxed Funko that I have which is my Prowler you guys already know that but he again doesn't have a stand for his feet. So he ends up uh, kind of bouncing and dancing around a little bit on my desk. And uh, I have to be careful about bumping my desk. So that's, uh, that's really nice that these ones do in fact come with that black stand attached to the feet. So that is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, next up, this one I will do an unboxing for you guys. First up, I'm gonna show you guys the, the box itself. This is Emperor Palpatine. Um, and it's such a great pop. This one actually is different than the original because the first hood was kind of as if you were to have pulled the cords on a hoodie and it just tightens up around your face. The first Emperor Palpatine Funko Pop was like that. This one's not so much. It shows the scarring and damage because it's basically em episode three after Mace Windu has his confrontation trying to arrest Emperor Palpatine. So this is when he's like, the attack on my life has left me uh, scarred and deformed you know like really like uh and then he does like the first galactic empire and then everyone cheers and this is how democracy dies and you know with thunderous applause so they do the whole thing um but it's really cool this one's actually shooting lightning which is really really dope so i'm getting a lot of that green reflection off of here but that's why i have these pngs up as well so i'll pull that up in just a moment after i show you guys the unboxing of this funko pop so you'll get a chance to take a look at that. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show that to you. This one is in the stand. I'm gonna pull it out right now. But let me go ahead and pull up the image for that while I unbox this so you guys can take a look at that Funko Pop there. And then I'll give you guys a full 360 display of this Funko, um, which I'm super, super excited about. I really like this one. And uh, these come with a nice red background in the Funko Pop box, which is uh, also really exciting. All right, very good, I got this one out. Let's see if I can take this one out of the plastic covering. 
okay and i really like these because these ones are in fact bobbleheads so let me go ahead and show you guys uh this one super super tight it actually to me it looks a lot like the lord of the rings nazgul funko pop it's got like the same hood similar pattern um but look you can see the lightning juts out from the fingers and the hands and it's a little bit clear it's really really cool um, i'm really liking that i like the way the eyes look scarred around the edges um, a little bit like bloodshot and then the yellow eyes because he's uh he's the lord of the sith and the sith have yellow eyes and so uh, I really like this one. I like the texture. It's a little bit heavier, I think, um, than some of the others, which is nice. It's not significantly heavier, but a little bit. You can feel that. Um, I really like the lightning. I like uh, that they protrude out, and they, you know, all the different angles, and um, it's just really cool, especially because they have that other Darth Vader Funko Pop to match, where he's being electrocuted, and you can see the skeleton of his skull through the mask. So that's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put him away. Um, and so, yeah, I think those are really, really fun. I, I really like these Funkos um, specifically because who doesn't love Star Wars, but also these characters are great. Um, a lot of people have been complaining a lot lately. I heard someone today, not, not someone in the news or anything, but like a friend had talked to me about um, Star Wars not having enough representation. And I was like, wait, what? Like. For like uh, racial representation, I was like, "Do you have we <laughs> have we so quickly forgotten about the the great Billy D. Williams? <laughs> and what about freaking Darth Vader? You know, I know that his face was uh, you know portrayed by another actor, but you have freaking James Earl Jones voicing one of the greatest villains of all time. Uh, and you know, we're we're talking about even if you don't see his face very often, um, Lando Calrissian stole the show when he showed up. Billy D. Williams is just uh, he was a fan favorite then. He's still a fan favorite now. People are really looking forward to seeing him in episode nine. Um, hopefully they give him a little bit of a better treatment than they've given some of the other original characters, <laughs> like literally killing off, uh, you know, Han. And then, uh, and you know, unfortunately, the, uh, the actress for Leia has uh, passed away. So that happened in real life. So they had to uh, deal with that in the story. And then also what they've done with uh, Mark Hamill's character, Luke Skywalker, has been kind of a tragedy, in my opinion. But, um, you know, a lot of people feel the same way that I do. Um, no one, I don't, there's very few people that are opposed to having, like, females in Star Wars, because that's not even a new thing. You talk about Leia, you talk about Mon Mothma, you can talk about, like, in the prequels, if, if, you, if you don't think that there's enough representation for different races, or um, gender in Star Wars, you don't, you didn't watch the prequels. I'm sorry. There's, there's lots and lots of characters of different races, ethnicities, and also lots of female characters that freaking rock, including Ahsoka from the uh, animated series, The Clone Wars, is a fan favorite across the board. Everybody likes Ahsoka. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to share this video with someone you know is gonna enjoy this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this Funko Pop. Not a complete unboxing video, but I do my best. I, I try not to unbox my, my Funko Pops. It's just a personal thing I like, but I like to do that for you guys as well. So you guys can see some of these special ones where the details are going to wrap around the Funko Pop in a 360 degree. Might be hard to find uh, images for that. So I like to give that to you guys in the live. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.